Alright, well, thank you for letting me know. And uh, let me know when you find out more. Alright, talk to you later. Bye. Alright, guys, so... Just got off the phone with... Uh, the lawyer about what was left to the farm. And uh, he did say that uh, he found... Or, well, I guess not entirely left just for the farm but left in general and uh, you know obviously the main being that he did leave the farm to me uh, we do have dad living there in the house next to us to kind of help us out um, when needed uh, which is nice but uh, did leave the farm to me but um, he is finding out that there is more that he left behind. He uh, didn't really give me all the specifics right now. He did say that uh, um, he found records of Grandpa selling last year's crop. And uh, there was more corn than what we had here right now. He just, uh, when he was selling, uh, he sold, he signed a contract for so much. Um, at a certain price and then he filled that contract and then the price had tanked um, prior to it coming up here just recently but um, so he had sold most of the corn already he just had you know this just shy of 10,000 bushels uh, left over um, but he had also sold some soybeans and he had sold um, some wheat as well um, those were kind of the main crops that he ran uh, he did do some soybeans or not soybeans uh, sunflowers as well at times but he must not have put any in last year so um, he is finding records of that um, and he found out that grandpa put most of that money away um, so He's uh, searching into that a little bit more, see kind of what the deal with that is there. Um, and he said that Grandpa did have an account that uh, he kept putting money into regularly. Uh, he was going to talk to the bank, see what kind of stuff he could find out there about that account. If you know he said anything, you know, I mean, this being a fairly small town and all. You know, kind of going on that uh, he would have kind of been talking about his plan uh, with why he was putting it away or something. You know, something to kind of give us an idea of what that account may have been for. Um, and, you know, that's when I brought up kind of the, uh, his plan of having wanted to put in barns and put up some more buildings and pick up some equipment so he could start running cattle um, <clears throat> so we're we're kind of thinking that that's what that was for we aren't really sure yet but uh, like I said he is going to look into it and he's going to give me a call back uh, within the next couple days uh, hopefully with some answers and uh, also if he finds anything else looking into things um, you know if there's anything else that was left behind as well so we're gonna kinda see what happens there and see what we can find fortunately if uh, it does snow pretty heavily uh, we don't really have to worry about plowing or uh, blowing snow anywhere besides our yard um, with having mom and dad away on vacation for the winter they decided to uh, head south for the winter so they wanted to go where it was a little bit warmer for the winter so ooh, that was a little icy there it looks like So, hopefully we can, uh, you know, hopefully some of that money we do inherit, 
Um, you know, he could have had a specific, another specific place that he wanted that to go to. So uh, that's another thing that uh, he's looking into to find out uh, if Grandpa had any other plans with that money um, for when he passed. Um, so. Case is looking awfully dead today. Not much going on there, it looks like. So we will have to be pulling some equipment into the shop here soon. Uh, get our spreader in there and get our uh, pro till in there. Get them ready for spring, get them ready to roll into the fields. Because uh, as soon as we can get into the fields, we're going to jump on that opportunity and get in, start getting stuff in the ground. And I just know that our Alice and our uh, Magnum are not going to like us when we try starting them. Um, probably run a cord in there and get them plugged in and put battery chargers on them, just make sure your batteries fully charged so that way they can hopefully start pretty easily get them plugged in so they can get warmed up hopefully we can uh, make it as painless as possible to get them going Doesn't look like he has much going on either. One thing I don't like about placeables is uh, how snow works with them. How it doesn't go around them or it doesn't get close to them. It'd be kind of nice if it got a little more up there. But I mean, it is what it is. So we got another 3,700 bushels sitting in the bin here right now. So I'll go ahead and get that put up in there. in here so 2500 so yeah about two more loads and we should have everything out of here one more full one for sure oh no we might have two two more full loads in there I don't know why I was thinking this held 1700 but it's 1100 bushels so yeah we might have another three loads to haul Two more full ones, and the one that's only gonna be partially full. It would be kind of nice if this was set up to where the snow didn't show up on the main road. That'd be something kind of nice, but. Wasn't my creation, so I'll take it as is, I guess. I mean, obviously, aside from me using the yards that are on the map, uh, just mainly for the fact that there isn't even actually any, like, grain storage on here. Um, but to me, that kind of works out perfectly because I like using these placeable grain bins and using the augers. So I know, um, like I was talking about yesterday on the map that I'm making, um, that one it's going to be set up it's going to have you know at the larger farms it'll have or well there's going to be one large farm and there will be kind of you know the starting farm and then probably one step up 
um, to where you know when you're kind of running a you're running a decent sized operation, but nothing super huge. You know, when we get to that large farm, though, that one there will be you know a grain complex put in there, and then it'll have a uh, um, few bins around that farm as well. But for the most part, on your starter farm, I plan on having you know all grain bins on that one. So. Probably having them kind of spread out through the yard, not all in one spot or anything. So we will be pretty well off here for spring. Whoop. Do still got to get a hold of the co-op and have them come fill our seed tanks, I believe. I haven't really looked in them yet. It's been kind of cold to climb up in them uh, to see if there is any fertilizer or seed or lime in them or anything like that. Um, but uh, should probably get up there here soon so that way I can start getting calls in to get them filled if they aren't filled. hit 200,000 all right that's another thirty three thousand eight hundred dollars under our belt This corner a little slower since a little ice you never coming around it the last time. So yeah, once we get all of this sold off, we'll be able to whoops stick this truck uh, up in the Quonset, and then we'll probably just stick that unload auger back beside the building where we originally had it where it originally sat because uh, we won't really be needing it anymore until next fall winter when we start selling grain again probably uh, use some of this money and pay the bank back uh, some of our loan because I did get a call from them uh, earlier uh, or the other day something like that um, in regards to the loan you know they said we know you just took over um, but we just wanted to let you know that uh, your grandpa did have a loan out with us for four hundred fifty thousand um, dollars which I guess when he took that loan out uh, that's when he built the two cold storage buildings um, he used to have a couple of Quonset well a couple more Quonset buildings um, like the one that we have still he used to have a few more of those and uh, I guess he wanted to 
tear those down and build some new buildings, so. He had uh, gone and taken out a loan for that, and then I think he also bought a new combine. Um, I think this combine was purchased last spring, so it's only got one harvest season on it. Uh, so, still a fairly new to him combine at least, new to our operation, and obviously all the equipment is still new to me, so... get that tarp opened up and we'll pull under here go ahead and get loaded up again just that auger just a little bit Here we got about 1481. So, yep, another full load, and then, oops, gotta shut that off. Another full load, and then, uh, partial load after that. So, we got two more trips to make after this, and then that'll be all of our grain sold off. So, yeah, so these two buildings here he had just built. Uh, this past summer he had them put up so he uh, could have built the one a little bit bigger the uh, one that he's got all of the implements stored in he could have made that one a little bit bigger make it a little easier a little bit longer and a little bit wider to make it a little easier to get those two planters in there along with the uh, tillage equipment but We'll make by with with it with what we got here. It's been snowing for a while now, so I guess we'll see how much snow we get. We got a good little layer here so far, so I guess we'll see just how much we end up getting. What do we got? 57707. Really not a whole lot going around going on around here. I think most of the guys are kind of waiting on the snow to stop falling before they start trucking. But uh 
I didn't feel like sitting around doing nothing anymore. I wanted to get going and get some stuff done. So we should be looking at having close to 300,000 by the time we're uh, all said and done here selling grain. So the price must have went down because now we're down to 33,593 on that load. Well, let's see what we're at here right now for prices. Uh, we're at 2853 or 28 dollars 53 cents a bushel. So. Not doing too bad. Uh, let's just see what we got for sunflower. Yeah, so we're we're not looking too bad in a lot of this stuff. We may look into getting into some beets or potatoes at some point in the future. Um, and if we did that, we'd probably look at getting some of these belt systems here for uh, putting that down. We do also have this grain auger, um, which if we happen to um, get like um, if we happen to have enough grain here this coming up season you know where we have to pile it you know we could look at uh, picking that auger up for ooh, for uh, picking up that pile um, I actually haven't used that auger yet that one came off of the uh, official Giants mod hub and uh, so would maybe uh, look into that if we have to pile anything I mean we could always just take the uh, Brant auger and take the uh, take that end shoot off and use that to pick it up as well instead of having to buy another auger but that one would be a little more suitable, I think, but who knows? Like I said, I haven't really tried that auger out yet either, so not sure how well that one works or how it works or anything like that. Yeah, we should be looking at close to 300 or so thousand, so we can maybe look at uh, maybe paying off you know, close to 100,000 on our loan. Uh, I guess it'll also depend on uh, you know what's in our seed, fertili solid fertilizer, and our uh, lime silos, if anything at all. So. Maybe once the uh, snow stops flying, I'll uh, be able to get up into them and take a look. This will be our last full load coming out of here. And 
we'll have about another 300 bushel or so to run into the elevator. About another three, three to four hundred bushel. I mean, I don't know how much is in this auger itself either, so we'll uh, kind of have to see there. Yeah, this is gonna be our last full one, so we are almost done. So I'm thinking uh, for our coming up season, we're probably going to plant some, um, probably going to put in, oh, because I'm thinking of running corn, soybeans, sunflowers, and oats. Uh, so I think I'm going to run about four fields of, um, Corn, four fields of beans, and then two fields of sunflowers, two fields of oats, um, or else might do four fields. I don't know yet. I guess, or we can maybe run three of each. Uh, I was thinking running four fields of corn at least, get a good amount of corn. Uh, we can maybe do four. I guess we could do. Oh man, I don't even know. Four fields of corn for sure, and then I'm thinking maybe running three fields of flowers, uh, and then we could do three fields of beans and two fields of oats probably, is what I'm thinking of doing and here this coming up season. Uh, corn and sunflowers are kind of the big money makers, soybeans are, you know, they make pretty decent money as well oats are okay so who knows we'll see and I mean I guess too if uh, we find out we got that you know we inherit the money for to be able to put up animal buildings and get the equipment uh, we may do more you know oat or we may just go with wheat or barley or something like that for some straw but, uh, you know, like I said, we'll just kind of have to wait and see, I guess. Should hear back in the next few days or so, uh, kind of what, what else is found. 57702. load dumped This puts us just shy of 285,000. So we should be able to get a couple grand out of uh, 
our next load or our last little bit here left in the bins let's not hit that rail on there I was going to try and line up a screenshot with the elevator in the background. There we go. That'll work. Yeah, this truck looks very nice. I like it. Nice kind of old style truck. It'll feel nice to know that all of our grain is safe and sound at the elevator and not in our bins anymore sitting. Grandpa definitely had the dryers running good on this stuff. It's This corn is nice and dry so that's good. That right there is actually one of our fields that we'll be working here shortly. Well, not shortly, but soon, as soon as we can get into the fields. Go ahead and get this last little bit loaded up here and then probably move the truck out of the way and get this auger put away where it belongs. Alright, there we go. So we got, what do we got in here? Oh, we have a little bit more than I thought. We have about 510 bushels in here, so almost another half a load. So I think what we're going to do is we're just actually going to take this auger. And we're going to stick it right over here in between these bins. Go ahead and get it dropped down here. And then we're just going to kind of stick it right in here in between. Kind of get it out of the way here. I think right there is gonna work. So we'll go ahead and we'll jump in the truck here and get this last load hauled. And we'll come back and we'll get the truck put away and be good to go until spring.
The one thing I do really, really like about 19 though is how most everything has the uh, dynamic hoses on it. That's one kind of nice thing that uh, they implemented. And I do find it kind of nice how they are now talking that uh, there won't be any more games coming out in the future. Uh, that I've, you know, I've heard of that uh, that they are instead going to sit and further update this game uh, which is something that they should have just started doing a long time ago honestly but um, you know they could have improved their graphics over time they could have improved you know so many different things over time that would have made life so much easier for so many modders I mean that's kind of the biggest reason why I've decided to do a map project um, and actually go through with it you know just most of the time by the time you start a map project you know by the time it gets done new games out already and you have to redo it anyways so just kind of doesn't always seem like a point in it all right what do we got for a wait here 38,898. Alright, so let's see what we get off of this last load, and then we'll look at what we made overall for our harvest. It's going to get us to 300,000. It might. Might be close. Yeah, it's going to be pretty close. About 296, 97, 97, 98, 99. Just shy of 300,000. So we got 14,000 off of that load. So Not too shabby, not too shabby. That's right, we're going to look at what we made in total here. So overall we made $284,770. So that means that we would have started out with... If I can get my phone to cooperate here. So $299,482 minus $284. 770 we started out with 14 712 so while we're here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna repay about a hundred thousand uh, paid a little bit more than 100 we paid about 150 but uh, we got a good chunk of that loan paid off now, so got about a third of it paid off. So we should uh, hopefully be one step closer to having being debt free for now at least. And so then the rest of our money will go towards spring work and parts and all that stuff and uh, hopefully it'll be enough to get us through the year up until when we start selling grain again so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this truck home and we're gonna get it put up in the shed or in the Quonset and uh, we're gonna call her a day We'll let this truck sit and cool down.
go ahead and go get this guy pulled in and stored away until harvest starts. Should only need that one door open for right now. We're only putting the truck in, so it's supposed to be in reverse and not drive. Let's see if we can get it in here without hitting anything. Oh, I screwed up already. Let's try this again here, round two. There we go. Plenty of enough room to get her in. So I'm going to go ahead and let that cool off for a little while. And then I'll go ahead and shut her down. And then, uh... Probably head on into the house and dig up some paperwork. And start going through some stuff. So, that's going to do it today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to check out down below in the description where you can find my PC specs as well as uh, links to my social medias as well as other interesting YouTube channels. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. See you tomorrow in the next one. See you all later.